On today's Visual Studio Toolbox, we're going to talk about the VS Live Developer Conference coming to the Microsoft campus this August. Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me today is Brent Sutton. Hello, Brent. How are you Hello. doing? Good. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We're going to talk about one of my favorite conferences of all time. Of course, I'm biased because I have spoken at it many times and attended it. Uh, we're going to talk about VS Live. So before we get into that, Brent, introduce yourself and then tell us what VS Live is. Thank you. Uh, my name is Brent Sutton, and I'm the event director for Visual Studio Live, or VS Live. Uh, and VS Live is a training conference uh, for Microsoft developers on the Microsoft uh, developer platform. Um, we've been uh, a community uh, outpost and training conference for developers uh, since 1993, so over 30 years. Uh, and uh, we have uh, traditionally done in-person conferences um, across the United States. Uh, we used to do foreign events years ago, but we've been pretty much US-based for the last uh, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then this year we've gotten into some uh, virtual training, hands-on training seminars as well. Um, so kind of hitting people at home uh, during the pandemic and, and now post-pandemic. Uh, where they're at, uh, and then also uh, getting back into the the real in-person training events, conferences. Uh, so back in the day, and the day would be before, back when our hairs were all black, <laughs> <laughs> um, you'd go to user groups and conferences because it was your opportunity to learn. There wasn't as much stuff on the web. Um, and it really was the place to learn. Nowadays, of course, you can seemingly learn what you need to learn without ever leaving your chair. There's YouTube channels, and there's all kinds of videos, and there's all kinds of stuff on the internet. So what is, what's the benefit of actually going to live shows these days? Because um, they're not free, of course. They so are. what's the big draw? Uh, good question. Um, in-person conferences uh, continue to be a great place to uh, not only network with peers and talk to other people that are uh, experiencing the same work problems as you, uh, workarounds, fixes, um, but it's really what we pride ourselves in at VS Live is um, having access to the speakers and trainers that, that join us, uh, both Microsoft uh, product team members and third-party speakers. Uh, it's a time that you get to ask questions during se the sessions. You get to talk with them after. You get to uh, hound them in the hallways, uh, sit with them at lunch, talk to them at our after-hours events. Um, that's the main thing that we hear about from attendees that that they don't get from the virtual training. They they can't get or aren't getting from a lot of the user group meetings or virtual things. Um, that just that interaction, that in-person interaction, um, and that kind of uh, in-depth one-on-one training that they get uh, when they're on, on site with us at a conference. Yeah. And then I think the ability to ask questions and, and chat with the people, because the speakers there are all experts. Most of the time, they've seen the issue you're having. They've heard about it. You may not be the only one having it. If you get to a show where there's Microsoft people, now you get an opportunity to talk to them about the product, talk about uh, pros and cons from your viewpoint about the product, maybe get a little sense of what's coming down the pike. So I think the interaction is is a key thing. Um, plus you, you often get to travel to cool cities. You guys were just in Chicago. We just got back from Chicago. So yeah, yeah. you didn't get a chance to join us there. It's uh uh, it was the weather was great in the windy city, and uh, it's a nice opportunity to to see both the city and uh, get some training in on uh, on the latest and greatest. And then the next big show is in uh, it's in Redmond on Microsoft campus at Microsoft mm -hmm. headquarters. Uh, um, so this is a really unique opportunity to get inside Microsoft. Um, and learn from both the Microsoft insiders as well as third-party experts. Um, get to see some of the campus, get to eat with the blue badges, uh, <laughs> they're building, you know. Um, but it, it's 
it, it really is a unique and great opportunity to come um, get training, find out what's going on um, within Microsoft and, and what's coming next. Um, yep. And it can get, get to talk directly with those product team members uh, and, and give them your feedback as well. I mean, and when is this? That is August 5th through the 9th. Oh, August is a wonderful time to visit August. Redmond. It's basically time. sunny all the time, usually. No guarantees, but um, it's, it should be beautiful weather in August. Absolutely. We're, uh, it, it has been the last, uh, we've been doing it since 2010 on mm -hmm. campus, and uh, the weather is always great in August. Excellent. So you said uh, there'll be Microsoft speakers. You Since it's in Redmond on campus, will you typically get more Microsoft speakers than if it's a show they have to travel to? We do. We do. Um, we've got uh, over 20 uh, Microsoft uh, team members uh, presenting sessions, workshops, uh, hands-on labs with us. Mm -hmm. um, so that's some great opportunity. Um, we also have on Tuesday evening, we'll have a Microsoft Ask the Experts uh, reception. Um, and that's when we invite even more product team members to come in um, and, you know, have a beverage, have some food with us. And that's a perfect opportunity to, to go up and, you know, get FaceTime with those uh, product teams, even if they're not presenting at the event. Cool. So I imagine Microsoft people giving keynotes. That is correct. Uh, we've got Scott Hunter, um, who's got some fun things uh, in store that we haven't released yet. Um, doing our keynote on Tuesday. And then mm -hmm. on Wednesday, we've got Bob Ward uh, joining us, as well as Asad Khan from the data team, Azure data team, uh, doing the day two keynote. Uh, so that's very exciting. Cool. So where can people learn more about this? You can learn more about this at vslive.com. Okay. Uh, if you go to vslive.com, uh, there's a little video you can watch about us. Um, and then, as I mentioned, we do uh, some two-day and four-day virtual uh, workshop seminars on lots of different topics. Uh, so you can scroll through and find out some, some of those. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our in-person events. Uh, we have our Microsoft HQ here. Um, and then we have another one in Orlando coming up this November, which uh, is co-located with five other events, all uh, dealing with the Microsoft stack. So okay. we encourage you to uh, go to vslive.com. If you go back to the Microsoft one there. Yes. I saw that I can save up to $400 with the super early bird savings if I register by June 7th. That is correct. You absolutely can. You can save money. Uh, just by going and registering before the date. Um, and if you are a my.visualstudio.com uh, Visual Studio subscriber with the professional and enterprise tiers, uh, okay. offering an amazing discount um, that you can access on that website. And uh, Okay, so if you go to my.visualstudio.com, sign in, access your subscription, if you have a pro or enterprise annual subscription, then you get an even bigger discount. A huge discount, in fact, Sweet. was the biggest ever offered across all of our events and seminars. So uh, it's an it's amazing deal. I encourage you to cool. find out more. And then you can drill down and see what the sessions are. There's sessions, there's workshops. Who are the speakers? Do we know all this stuff yet? We do. We do. In fact, if we go to uh, the event website itself, we've got our keynotes listed there. We've got mm -hmm. our activities uh, and then we've got all of our speakers. Oh, I'm already seeing several people who have been guests on this show. Correct. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. lots, lots of information on the individual um, event websites, um, but uh, we encourage you to uh, to go and, and, and learn more. Come see who's okay. and some uh, great uh, great sessions planned for the event. So the whole agenda with the speakers is all laid out so people know exactly what they're getting into. Absolutely. What's happening and where. Uh, cool. and we obviously have the after hours events uh, on mm -hmm. the website also uh, a little bit of fun as well as learning and uh, networking. So great opportunity to learn from Microsoft people, um, 
great opportunity to talk to people and, and to an extent even bigger than some of the other shows, which uh, some of the other shows Microsoft does, which tend to be very large. And so it's hard to meet the speakers and hard to get their time. But these events, something like VS Live, very, very manageable. And I certainly know that anytime I spoke at it, I was always happy and and looking forward to talking with people, um, answering their questions during the session, but then talking with them afterwards and then continuing to run into them and even getting to hang out with them at the evening events. So Absolutely. great opportunity to network, great opportunity to learn about what's new, what's coming from the Microsoft people on the Microsoft campus. Sounds like a great deal. Absolutely, and, and uh, just point out that uh, everything that's being announced at Build will be shown uh, at Microsoft HQ. So um, it is, you know, gives us a little bit of time to, after the announcement, to, to come on and, and, and see it in, in person, see it demoed. Um, so. All right. So I think the takeaway is uh, folks get excited about this. Go to vslive.com, check it out, register and attend and have a, have a good time on Absolutely. the Microsoft campus. Absolutely. All right. Thanks. Thanks so much, Brent. Appreciate and it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope to see you in Redmond. We'll see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox.